Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about, which is what kind of wraps everything together, is a balance with well, the difference between balanced and unbalanced forces. Okay, balanced force is a net force on an object and that has a zero net force, which means there's no change in motion on that object. Okay, so there's two possibilities of balanced force. Number one, the object is not in motion. If you're sitting in your chair and you're not moving, you are a balanced force. That chair is preventing you from falling to the ground, so it's a balanced force. If you're in a car and you're moving at a constant speed and you're not changing direction, then you're also a balanced force. So balanced force doesn't always mean not in motion. It just means zero net force. So if you look at the drawing that I put there, and you are going to see these questions with the arrows, you know, pointing in all different directions, and you have to be able to calculate the uh, net force. So what's the net force of those arrows on the screen? Not zero. Zero newtons. If you write just zero, it is wrong. Don't be wrong. No, bad, because N stands for Newton, not North. No, bad. <laughs> no, Jacob is being a rebel. Okay, <laughs> so what is our net force we said already? Is zero Newtons. So if you put net force is zero Newtons, make sure you understand you know how to cal uh, calculate that net force. And then this last one on the bottom, are the, is this kind of the same thing? It's going in opposite directions. Is the one on top going in opposite directions? Yes, it is. They're, one's going to the left and one's going to the right. Same thing. They're just colliding. Do you see the difference? They're both going in opposite directions. Anytime you have a balanced force, it's usually going to be going in opposite directions. Because if you have anything that's going in the same direction, then it's going to be moving, which means it's an unbalanced force. What is the net force of 60 newtons left to 60 newtons right? Zero newtons. There it is. It's gorgeous. Look, you can see Monique through the paper. It's right there. Just on the screen, though. You can't see it in the notebooks. <laughs> Okay, next up we have is an unbalanced force. This is when the net force on an object is greater than zero. Is it possible to have negative force? No. No, because force indicates motion or not motion. You can't have negative motion, okay? Uh, when net force on an object is greater than zero. So you have two possibilities of an unbalanced force. Number one, the object is in motion. Obviously, that is an, an unbalanced force. Okay, number two, object that is already moving will change its speed and or direction. Okay, so if you're going at a constant speed and you slow down, that's unbalanced. You went from a balanced to an unbalanced. If you're going straight and you turn, that is an unbalanced force. Okay, so we just talked about when Brian and I were pushing each other because you saw that I was so awesome in one. Okay, object in motion. Were we in motion? Sometimes, guys, I got lucky. <laughs> yes, I did. That's okay, Brian. You can, t I don't work. <laughs> you don't have four year olds at home to lift to have big guns like mine. It's a gun show over here. Yeah. Okay. Um, shh, object in motion. When I was pushing with more force than Brian, he fell forward. When I took my force away, or I'm sorry, backward. When I took my force away, he fell forward. Okay, so that is an unbalanced force. When you're standing there pushing with equal force, there was no motion, which means it was a balanced force. Okay, when we pushed, both pushed to the right, we were still moving, our body was moving, so there was a little bit of change there. So was, that means that we were still unbalanced, okay? Now, pushing for balanced, unbalanced forces means you're pushing, the first one here, if you're pushing in the same direction or you have force going in the same direction, then you're going to do what to these two numbers? Add or subtract? Add. If it's going in the same direction, you're going to add. And what you need to understand is when you're talking about unbalanced forces, you also must show direction. 
Okay, so our net force is 20 newtons to the right. 10 newtons plus 10 newtons equals 20 newtons to the right. Okay? If we move in opposite directions, what are we doing? Adding or subtracting? Subtracting. So we take, uh, we have two new, uh, forces moving in opposite directions, 60 newtons to the left, 40 newtons to the right. So if we subtract 60 newtons from 40 newtons, we would get 20 newtons to the left. Not 20 north to the left. No. Bad. <laughs> Glad you guys are with me on that one. Okay, again, both of these diagrams towards each other and away from each other are opposite directions. So 50 newtons minus 20 newtons equals 30 newtons to the left. Do you understand? Okay, these examples are key because you will see them on your test. Okay, so if you, we just, I just showed you the, uh, demonstration, I couldn't think of the word, demonstration of a piece of paper uncrumpled and a crumpled piece of paper falling to the ground. Which one hit first? An uncrumpled piece of paper and a crumpled piece of paper are dropped at the same time. Which one hits first? The crumpled paper. And then we put a metal washer in another piece of crumpled paper and drop them both at the same time. And what happened? They both hit the ground at the same time because the air resistance is the same. Okay, so the question was, what will happen when you drop a feather and a hammer together at the same time on the moon? What will hit? Will they hit at the same time? Will the hammer hit first or the, the feather hit first? So let's watch that real quick. Let me get to the full screen. It is educational. That's educational. Oh, whoops, that's the beginning. There we go. Or the end, I mean. Shh. All right, let's see that again. Okay, pay attention. All right, so you understand that they're hitting at the same time because there's little to no air resistance, obviously, on the moon. Okay, you're going to have the question on that and make sure that you understand that concept. Um... Okay, so we're talking about gravity, and what you're about to see is a video that is uh, just basically what happens when things are falling through the air. So if you have a cup and it has a hole in it, what happens to the water? Falls through the hole in the cup. If you dropped the cup that has the hole in it with the water... What do you think happens if you drop the whole cup at the same time? Does the water keep flowing or does it fall with the cup? Raise your hand if you think the water keeps coming out of the cup as it's falling. Raise your hand if you think that. Okay. Raise your hand if you think that the water stays in the cup as it falls. All right. You ready to be proven? All right. Here we go. Did you see it happen? Okay, did the water continue to come out of the cup as it was dropping? No, okay? So it's going to fall as one object 
not as two. Okay, so there's going to be, just keep that in mind as well. Okay, good job today, guys.